Hi friends, welcome to Easy and Home Style Cooking. I'm Mrs. Ragini. Today we are going to make an excellent Italian bread, which we can use this bread for any type of sandwiches. And this actually, the bread goes excellent with bruschetta. I already shared how to make bruschetta. You can make this bread and make different kinds of bruschetta, dear friends. So let's start how to make this simple Italian bread. This will be crispy, crispy and slightly soft inside and slightly hard. To make this dish, first we're going to add very little water in a bowl. And in this, I'm going to add some sugar, half a teaspoon of sugar and pinch of salt. And I'm going to slightly warm this water and then I'm going to add the yeast. Here is the slight warm water just put it in an oven for 30 seconds then you'll get slightly warm water and in this we're going to add half a teaspoon of yeast this is dry yeast add it and let it rest for one minute or two minutes then this will melt automatically here you can see after one minute the yeast has dissolved in the water and now we're going to add the flour if needed we're going to add water so first we're going to add in this itself because it's an all-purpose flour the dough will become you know soft very fast so don't add too much water mix it with a spoon or you can use a dough machine also to this we are not going to add any oil only thing later on we are going to add it so you can see the dough should be slightly soft like this and we are going to rest this dough for one hour and then we are going to you know you all know what happens when we add yeast, this will puff up and then we are going to make our Italian bread. Here you can see the dough has nicely raised because of the yeast. Keep it in a warm place so it will raise very fast and this is ready. This is two step process dear friends. First we need to mix the dough with the yeast and then let it sit for one hour and then again after one hour we need to get it out and then make a shape, put it again on the tray and we need to rest it for another half an hour so two step then it goes into the oven directly so here is the dough this is slightly soft if you want you can use a spatula also or a spoon or even a knife also so use some extra flour on the base and dust some flour to the dough also and drop this mixture this is slightly soft no problem you need to add little extra flour and now little more of flour this is very very soft and delicate mix this so friends this is slightly soft it will keep on sticking to your hands and you can just use a scraper or more of flour and now roll this use more of flour spread it slightly and make it into half and roll this and this italian bread is little bit length tuck it inside and make a loaf like this and now Take a baking tray, dust some flour on the baking tray also and now put the loaf on top and now this again we need to keep it for proofing for another 30 minutes. So dust some more flour on top. You can just cover with a wet cloth or any type of cloth and keep it in a warm place. So friends here is our dough which has nicely puffed up and now what we are going to do is before baking we are going to give a gashes. Just cut it little bit with a knife. And now this goes into the oven at 200 degrees centigrade for 15 minutes till you see a nice golden crust on top. Till then we need to bake this. So friends here you can see our Italian bread. Very basic bread I did. If you want you can use cornmeal flour also and if you want you can use wheat flour also. And before baking you can just coat this dough with some uh, sesame seeds or even some uh, poppy seeds. You know, even if you want, you can coat it with cornmeal and you can bake this. Today, as I said, I made a basic simple bread and now this is ready to cut. Usually they cut it into, you know, oval shapes and you can see this is very light and nice and crispy. You can hear the sound. It should be like this. You know, uh, when we went to Europe, I tried different kinds of breads and some breads you know the Italian breads we need to chew it and if they are so hard but very tasty I love that also but you know slightly you need to give exercise to your mouth so here we're going to cut this you need to saw the knife you can see how perfectly we got the texture 
it should be like this. I actually made it a little bit small bread. It will be huge. So I made it into a little bit small. You can hear the sound when I'm cutting the bread. And these bread can be used for bruschetta. See, I already shared the bruschetta recipe. Take some nice toppings, put it on top, put it in the oven just for two to three minutes and you can get an excellent bruschetta, dear friends. This is amazing and perfect and simple and tasty. So friends, I'm going to... Mm. An excellent crust on top, inside, slightly soft. This is amazing. We love breads, any type of bread, we love to eat it. And you can see the bread, how perfectly it has baked. And you can see the perfect holes inside it when you knead the dough perfectly. And when you proof it, you'll get an excellent bread. Dear friends, I think nowadays I'm becoming too expert on baking. I'm getting perfect. If I'm getting perfect, you can also get it perfect. I suggest try it out, no problem. Once you may go wrong, next time you'll be perfect. See you in another session with some more recipes, but don't forget to share it, make it and feed your family fresh, fresh food. <laughs>